Hi, and here we are. Today, I'm going to show you an example of a Mills plate. Mills plate is when you want to put a Lego building, Lego object on a plate, but the plate cannot hold the weight. And when you go to try to move it, oh, it's flimsy. I'm talking about something bigger than just this piece. This is just for an example. Take your flimsy plate that you want to make sturdy and build all the way around it. Preferably with the bigger bricks on bigger plates. So if you're doing a 32 by 32 stud plate, you definitely want to use bigger bricks. Build it either two to three bricks high. My city is two bricks high. So that is my standard and that's the way I'm going to keep my whole city. Here you can see bricks in the background ready to go in. This little plate doesn't have to have a lot of bricks. But this is how it's going to go. I use gray in areas that I think will use well, well for roads and stuff. I can use black underneath roads. But I make it stable all the way around. If I am doing things that I want to look like dirt, I use the color dirt of my choice. I know that some people live in areas where dirt is, let's say, a little more reddish. And if you live up north, your dirt is black. So, as you can see, gray also looks like stone. So you can stagger some black in there, some brown, some different color grays or browns. But once you get your area all covered up, you have to figure out what you're going to cover it with. And you could stagger your pieces or you can use more pieces up here that are bigger. Just don't leave any gaps or holes unless you want to run wires. And now it's more sturdy for a big building to put on. This little piece here is not something that is what I'm going to use. This was just for demonstration purposes. Here's another one that I've used for demonstration purposes. Oh, look. A hole. This hole can be used for many different things. So what I've done is I've put down two brown plates on top of my green plate. I've put brown bricks all the way around because that's what was going to show was brown bricks. Make it look like dirt.
And ta-da! This is what I made. Hello, Mr. Groundskeeper at the graveyard. So I've done a mod, not a mock, a mod. Because these are things from a set. So I've taken different pieces from sets. And I've put them together in a collaboration in my mod. A mock means my own creation. This is a mixture of both. This is my mock. And these wonderful people are just enjoying the trickling water. But here we have a worker who's dug out this hole because he's going to need to bury somebody. You may recognize this set. I have used different pieces from different sets, the hidden side set and also the Harry Potter Rise of Voldemort set. I have used their pieces. I do not believe in the these things, but they were good for the pieces. And here we are. Real sturdy. I can lift this and move it around and decide where I want it in my city. I've decided not to use the little connectors, but you can. You can strate strategically place these with connectors so you can connect them together. I don't like to do that. But you can. Here is an example of a longer cutout. So instead of just doing a little hole, you can do a long hole and make a river like I did. And I put water in the river. Oh, look, a little fish. A little st stream, a babbling brook. I hope you can use your mills plate for many different things. Don't forget to like my video, hit the bell so you can watch more videos, subscribe, of course. Then hit the bell. And then share the videos with others if you like. Do they like Lego? These are cool ideas. Have fun building. Thanks for watching.